Hi guys, welcome. Today, this video is going to be about setting up the weekly view on a daily duo. What is this? You may ask yourselves. If you haven't seen any of my other videos about it, I have one where I talk about planner piece with minimal Franken planning. And even though I still love this method, I am doing the hourly because one, it's nice to set up everything in the hourly. I love having the times. And two, I also really like the, um, the fact that I can bring more content for you guys and use up some other of my kids and kind of change things around. It's just not offer only daily duo videos. However, this is a great thing that has worked very well for me. So this has not been an issue for me at all. This has always worked great. It's just that I'm not doing it anymore because I have the hourly, okay? But I have had people say, well, how do I set up the planner so that I don't have to add a page in the planner and I can just use this in one of the regular pages? So what we're gonna be doing is, we're going to be setting up Saturday and Sunday over here. And then we are going to be setting up the weekly, um, this page of stickers over here, okay? So we're going to set up the, um, the weekly view on this other page, okay? And I'm gonna go get my white out because most likely I'll need to use it. So I'll be back super fast. Okay, I have it here. So anyway, Saturday, I'm gonna set up Saturday and Sunday on the same page. And if you do use your Saturday and Sunday a lot, you can always watch the Franken planning video to add that page. And if you don't use Monday a lot, then you maybe can use leave Saturday and Sunday as is and set this up on the Monday next week. Whatever works for you guys, uh, you know, this is your planner, make it yours and, and make it work for you however best way you can. I hope there was not that much uh, humming in the background because I just realized that I had the humidifier, the dehumidifier turned on. I forgot to turn it off and that is never good because it's not a silent environment for filming. It feels so good to have this silence right now. And Saturday is the 12th, right? I want to set up Saturday the 12th and Sunday the 13th. So let me just write these here. And what I want you to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to set up Saturday right over here. But I kind of want to measure where the half of the page, right? So this page measures, oh, I'm doing it backwards. So this page is kind of like an eight and uh, almost an eight and a half page. So it's 8.25, 8 let's just say it's 8.25. So at four, so kind of like around this line over here. So kind of like around this line, I want to be setting up my Sunday. Listen guys, if you have a lot more going on on Saturday than on Sunday, then just leave more space for Saturday and set this up a little lower. This is your planner. Again, remember, do this however you think it's going to be work best for you guys. And then what I am going to do before doing this is just, in case I have any, um, you know, I don't cover this full line completely. I haven't done this in a while. And again, I have never uh, done it in an A5. Like I've always done this in the seven by nine format. So I also want to just make sure that I can replicate whatever it was that I was doing in the other one. So let me just do this right and uh oh well I'll grab a little bit 
actually I should not have bought those were not the lines that I had to white out it was these but it's fine this will get covered anyway let me show you how okay so this is my Saturday and this is my Sunday right however which way I set up Saturday and Sunday it's completely up to me I do want to though just cover this with this box or with yeah, I should not have whited out this. Okay, guys, don't white out that part, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this box here, and I'm just going to use checklists down here for my to-dos. And I should have just left it this way. I can definitely white out the times. That is not going to be a problem. So this is something that you could do if you want. Um, the lines, I should not have done it that way like I told you guys I haven't done this in a while so maybe I should have planned this a little better sorry about that anyway it's still gonna work and for this one I you know on Sunday I, I don't have all that much going on on Sundays it's basically a time that I take to kind of work and catch up on work so I'm also going to white out the times because just because I'm not going to be using them. Uh, this is, you know, I'm, I'm kind of dividing the day. Oh, I, of course I run out of it. I'm kind of dividing the day already, right? So I have to be very mindful on how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to have a little to-do list here and, and I'll use this one for my shop and I'll use this one for anything personal that I need to write down. And I can definitely just um, write down any times of the day by hand or wait for something that's coming out on Friday. I'm hoping to upload this video on Thursday. And Thursday is still not release date. However, if I upload this later, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So you'll be able to set this up a different way. Anyway, you can just do your Saturday and Sunday this way. And uh, you can divide this day with strips, which is what I'm going to do. Since I already, you know, since I had to set it up the way I did, I kind of want to use... Um, some strips to divide my day and i'm going to use light pink for this one and i'm not you know if there's anything that's time sensitive with hours i might just use this spot to write it so right here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do my to do's and then for my youtube videos or youtube to do's i only leave these three empty spaces and for my regular to-dos, I use these. So I can use a sticker from this kit and just write to-do over here. And this is what my Sunday looks like. And I can replicate the same system for Saturday as well. And since I already am working with this dark, uh, darker pink, then this is what I'm going to use for Saturday and then kind of replicate the same system and if I have anything that's time dependent that needs to happen on a certain time of the day then it's totally fine I can write that down up here so one two three and then this is going to be my YouTube to do right and there you go this is how I'm setting up my Saturday and my Sunday now let's just go ahead and set up Now I have my Sunday free to use it as a weekly view. Typically this week is going to, like I like for it to carry over to next week. But, um, I mean, you set it up however you want. So the first thing I do is I set up my header. With this weekly view. text right up here and then 
I um, set up the strips for the days of the week. So I will start with this light pink for Monday. And typically what I used to do was leave less space for Saturday and Sunday and set most of them up for the days of the week, like for the weekdays and then Saturday and Sunday with less space. And what I, what, what the other thing that I was doing, and let me just do this right now, is I was setting this up here. So you could use a tracker insert and set up a tracker right here or just set it up in another place in the planner. That's totally up to you. I'm not gonna use a tracker right now though. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I feel that I'd rather use this area here for things that are important for me for this week, right? So I want to kind of just have that space where I write down what is going to be very, very important for me to finish in this week. And then I'll use my little dots over here to kind of get the bullet list going. And you can you know, use more if you want. That's totally fine. It's completely up to you. So we have different ways of setting this up. And this is a little different right now because I am not on the seven by nine daily duo. So on the A5, you have more stickers. So you can also use, like I could have even just used a sticker up here for the header and left this one for more space to write. That's totally up to you. Again, like I was saying, you also have, um, you know, of course these two, but you also have the individual checklists just so that you can decide the days to be whichever size you want. And you have Monday through Sunday, the headers for the week. And you also have the, the days, the numbers to just so that you can add your Monday and put the number that you want. So if I'm setting this up for next week, that's going to be Monday the 14th. So what I would do is I would set up Monday the 14th. And I'm going to go into time lapse very soon because I'm not going to do all of this on camera. But I do want to explain something to you guys before I go into time lapse, right? So this is what you set up. And then you use a checklist for however many lines you want to leave for each day. So what I want to do before um, logging out is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 with this one. If I use this for five days of the week, it means I can use six lines for each day, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So then at 9 a.m., I will be setting up my Tuesday. And you move this however you want to move it so that it fits the amount of days that you need to leave open. That's completely up to you. And then what I like to do is I like to set this up here. And then this is a little space that is going to be a catch all for anything that I need to start writing down for the week ahead. So this is the week of the 14th. Whatever I need to start writing down for that week ahead, I have a little space that's kind of catching. You can also just switch because I think, you know what, the important is kind of, we could do kind of like a top three over here with the important. So I am going to switch. Let me just bend this so that I can get um, the stickers. Uh, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Uh, if I, I've been having, um, I'm very tired, right? 
I explained this in another video. I'm just not sure if you're gonna see this one first or not. So I'm very tired and uh, thankfully it's not COVID, so that's fine. It's due to my um, low carb. I'm adjusting to it because I kind of went out of it for a bit and I had not completely adjusted to the amount of carbs. So, you know, I'm just a little tired. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, better do it this way. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna go into time lapse and I'm gonna set up all these days and then I'm gonna calculate how much to leave for Saturday and Sunday. And I also, you know, I can still also use part of this for a running list. So I can, like Saturday, my Saturdays and Sundays are not that busy. So I can just leave, like mark Saturday over here and then leave three spots, mark Sunday here, leave three spots and then kind of set up another set of stickers to use here. It, this is completely up to you. You can make it your own. So I'm going to go into time lapse and then I'll be back.